Most of the time when you're working with Cricut Design Space, you're using the live version that they've removed as many bugs as possible before releasing. But sometimes the beta version has features that you need to try out right away. But how do you change to the beta version? And if you're in the beta version, how do you change back to the live version? I'm gonna show you. My name is Ruth. This is Hank's Maker Mentor, where I help you learn how to make. The first step is to open up Design Space and click on the hamburger menu and go to settings. Here you'll see application experience with the options for beta and live. The one you're currently using will have the green circle in it. I'm going to switch from live to beta by clicking on the beta button and then clicking done. This will automatically have Design Space install the beta update. Once the update is installed, it will reopen Design Space using the beta version. To find the new features, you kind of have to hunt around. Some of them can be listed in what's new, but a lot of them aren't listed and you have to search for them. If you're running into bugs with the beta version, please submit a bug report. But if you need to change back to the live version because a bug is making it impossible for you to do the project you're trying to, you'll do the same process in reverse. You'll click on the hamburger menu, go to settings, click on live, done. It will install the live version again and reopen design space. I hope it was helpful to see how to change to and from the beta version of Design Space so you can try out the cool new features. If you learned something new, please consider clicking the like button and sharing this video. Thanks so much for watching Hank's Maker Mentor, and until next time, bye.